It, it had a crunch. Hello and welcome to my Keto Kitchen. I'm Victoria. Today we're going to make Keto Cheese Tortilla Chips. I would like for it to be a Keto Copycat Doritos type of thing, but we will see. So let's dive right in. This is extremely easy. The first thing that we need is one cup of my perfected keto flour. The next thing that we need is one quarter of a cup of water. We need one tablespoon of melted butter and one eighth of a teaspoon. Oops. One eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Not the bowl. Okay, let's mix this up. Okay, we are done. I am going to scrape all of the dough off of the sides of the bowl. Okay, I have my dough, my tortilla press, and my parchment rounds. So I'm going to lay that on there. Okay, I'm going to take golf ball sized pieces of this dough, roll it in a ball, lay it on the press, top it with the round parchment paper, and press it. There we go. Okay, so we have made four tortillas. And now I'm going to cut this horizontally and vertically to get four tortilla chip shapes out of this. Just like that. Now, I have this fryer on 375 degrees and I'm just simply going to drop these in one at a time. They, yes, they rise right to the top. I almost forgot, you want to poke these with a fork or else they will bubble up. Okay, I am going to flip these. Okay, right here I have Flavor God's Nacho Cheese Seasoning. I have put one quarter of a cup in a gallon size Ziploc bag. And as these finish, I'm going to just put them in here and shake it up. Usually it's about two minutes in this fryer is how long it takes till they really cook good. They're pretty hot, so I'm going to put them in this glass dish just for a second. Yeah. They still need to be hot and wet looking so that they will stick to the seasoning. Nice. Wow. These are beautiful. Okay. These, I forgot to poke with a fork, so they're fluffy. And I am definitely going to need more than one quarter of a cup of this seasoning, probably at least half of a cup. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do some more. Look how beautiful. It has taken everything inside of me not to taste these. I have not tasted this yet. I am going to break one on camera and then I'm gonna come back over here and taste this. So a trick that I learned this time is the thinner or the harder that you can press down on the press and the flatter that you can get the tortilla, the more crispy your chips will be. Okay, I have broken this one for you. Now it is time to try this. It's a chip. This time it's crunchy. Do you hear that? Oh my word, okay. It, it has a crunch. It is quick, mm. 
so fascinated with the crunch of the chip. I forgot the seasoning is really good too. Mmm, this is great. Mmm, this is what I would call finger licking good. This, yeah, yeah, superb. If you do not poke your tortillas with a fork <clears throat> and you get these little bubbles, these bubbles are very thin, like they just break. I almost wish I did not poke any of these with a fork because the areas that are not poked with a fork, I mean, they still, they still crack, but these are like really thin, like, um, I don't, they're just really good. Next time I may not poke it with a fork. Just let them all blow up. That would be pretty cool. If you need a keto cheesy chip or a cheese tortilla chip, this is it. This is fabulous. I hope you enjoy this. If you make it, please leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. I hope I don't have it on my face. Oh my goodness. Thank you for watching this. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Friday. And you have a blessed day.